Hi, I'm Kimberly Austin for Houdini.com. Bed bugs are everywhere these days and we are all at risk. But while there are no guarantees, there are steps you can take to protect your home from becoming infested. Especially when you're traveling, which is when many of us are most likely to encounter the dreaded insect. We get phone calls, anything from I was traveling and I was getting bitten when I was away. Come on, bud. To we went to a bed and breakfast and something happened. Jeremy Ecker owns a canine bed bug detection company in New York City, and he's heard it all. For the most part, he says, bed bugs travel when we do, finding their way into our luggage or purses or even our clothing when we're away from home. I mean, anywhere that someone has their belongings is a potential area, you know, whether it be car service, whether it be a plane, whether it be a hotel, whether it be a conference room, it doesn't matter. What can matter, he says, is how long people usually spend in a given place. Bedbugs are natural fugitives who live most of their lives in hiding, venturing out to feed usually only when their victims are still for a long while, or even better, sleeping. Look at this guy crawling right here. That is why, as these unlucky guys found out, Hotels are prime places to pick up bed bugs and where we'll focus on precautions. Step one, know your enemy. Bed bugs can climb and crawl. Lou Sorkin has studied bed bugs for the past 10 years at the American Museum of Natural History. He says simply being able to identify them is the single best thing you can do to protect yourself. Hatched from silvery white eggs, they grow darker and larger as they mature. Adults are reddish brown and can be more than a quarter of an inch long, especially right after they fed. You'll be looking not just for bugs, but also for their droppings, black spots or flecks, and the translucent skins they shed as they grow. It's very easy to overlook an early infestation if you don't know what to look for. And look, you must. Step two is to inspect any hotel room before you commit to staying in it. At the more common areas in hotel and motel situations are the headboards that are anchored onto the wall uh, and that would have to be removed if, if it can be removed. Headboards are rarely disturbed in hotel rooms, which makes them great places for bed bugs to hide. You can see right there. Exterminator Matt Camper found these in a room where bed bug activity has been reported. But you see that that black flecking, um, that's blood spots, and that's pretty typically what you'd see um, if there was an infestation of bed bugs. You look at the sheets, you pull back the sheets, you look on the edging of the mattress, on the sides of the mattress. You should look um, at the box spring and if possible lift the box spring. And since bed bugs do not live only in beds, you'll also want to look around the room, inside drawers, under furniture, or deep into crevices in the upholstery. Sometimes even curtains, they'll infest. If you do find something, immediately tell the hotel and ask for a different room, and then check that one too. Of course, you can't always get the headboard off the wall or rip apart the room the way an exterminator would, so it pays to add another layer of protection, which brings us to step three isolate your luggage. I would not unpack, keep your bag on a stand. Steve Hawkins owns the pest control company Five Star Environments, which focuses exclusively on bed bugs. Here's the advice he gives people about hotel stays. I would keep your bag, your clothing in your suitcase. I would not put anything in the drawers or in a closet. And don't put anything on the floor or the bed. You can bring big plastic bags with you and keep everything sealed inside them during your stay, even your laptop, shoes, and camera. You can also buy disposable luggage protectors. Zip your suitcases inside when you get to the hotel, and then leave the bags behind when you check out, hopefully bed bug free. Then, just in case, Sorkin recommends a fourth set of precautions to be done at home. When you return from a trip, you can take your suitcase and place it in a large, clear bag, plastic bag. He says put your clothing directly into another plastic bag for the trip to your laundry to wash and dry everything on hot. It seems that the Achilles heel in bed bugs is actually temperature, and they can't withstand temperatures over 118 degrees or 120 some degrees. Things like jewelry and shoes can be wiped down with alcohol and your suitcase can be vacuumed thoroughly with the upholstery brush and a crevice tool to get deep into the seams. 
And so once the, the suitcase has been vacuumed, I don't need to keep it sealed in the bag anymore. No, but in some situations, people may want to spray that suitcase with an isopropyl alcohol just to make sure. And all of that should be done outside before you bring the suitcase in. Yes, it's better to do it in the garage or outdoors. Be sure to seal up and then throw away the vacuum cleaner bag. And look for more information in the rest of our Houdini series on bed bugs, including how to identify a bed bug infestation in your home and how to prepare for extermination if you do get bed bugs. I'm Kimberly Austin for Houdini.com.